Hi everyone, my name is Azadeh. Welcome to the Total Body Conditioning class. This class is a combination of the cardio, weights, some balance coordination, and in the end, we have some stretches. For this class, we need to use resistant band, okay? So, and also we're gonna use the exercise ball, if you don't have exercise ball, no worries. Other option, you can use the pillow or cushions. Yeah. And for hand eye coordination, we can use the fruit or a small ball. It's up to you. Okay. So these are the equipment that we're going to use. I'm going to put this away. All right. Please, please. Anytime during each exercise, you got pain, stop it. Listen to your body and then anytime, take a rest. There's a chair available. We're gonna use the chair and also we're gonna use the wall. So that's you have option. And also I'm gonna show you different, you know, variation, the easy one. When I'm say challenge, do you want challenge? It's going to be a little bit difficult. Okay, let's get it started, everybody. Now we're gonna stand nice and tall. Keep your foot open. You can just open like a shoulder wide. We're gonna focus on your posture before we do any exercise. Think about top to your bottom, okay? We're gonna just keep your chest open, arms by your side, relax on the shoulders. We're gonna hug your spine. You draw your belly button to spine. You feel you're gonna be a little bit tight or pressed in your midsection, but you should breathe in. Having the soft knees, okay? That means you engage your core. Your baseline, your fit is really important to just flat on the floor. Are you ready? We're gonna start from inhale to your nose. We're gonna start from easy for the shoulders. Look up and exhale, change your palms and drop your arms down. Now each time you can go a little bit higher. Don't force on your shoulders. Look down, change your palms, push. I'm gonna push my feet to the ground. I'm gonna everything nice and just squeeze into your spine to lengthen my spine. This is really important. Two more in deep, inhale through your nose. Look up, that's working on the neck and exhale, look down. One more, pushing your feet on the ground, inhale and then exhale down. Remember, listen to your body. Any exercise, you need to stop, stop it, especially for the shoulders, right? So now we're gonna shift in your weight to the right and left, and we're gonna shoulders up, roll the shoulders up, back down, up, back down. If you look at my feet, I'm gonna take my heels off, okay? Just a little bit shifting. And if you don't like it, you can just fit flat and do this. Two more, up back down and really, really enjoy using your muscle around your neck. So stop here, we're going to do reverse, up, forward and down. So when you got a technique, you can just move like this. Yes, shift your weight to the right and left. So this is the only exercise. You're going to bring your shoulders close to your ear. The rest of the time, shoulders far from your ear. Let's just swing your arms and side to side. Now I'm gonna turn my head to the right and left. So look at my wrist, work on your wrist as well, right? Side to side, if you feel dizzy during turning your head, you can look straight and do this. So easy on your shoulders. So this is an easy one. Now I'm gonna a little bit challenging, bring my arms up to the shoulder height. Yes, one, two, three, Four, five, six, very mindfully turn. Seven, eight, drop your arms, then bring your foot together. We're gonna march, march, march on your foot. So let the arm stretch and then focus on your arm from the shoulder socket. You swing your arm, you're not forcing too much. So your arms follow your legs. So now we're gonna bend your elbow. It's a runners, you know, 
position. Look, so back and forth, inhale to your nose, exhale to your mouth. We can keep your foot a little bit open. We stand marching, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring it in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Open, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring it in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stop here. Let's just do inhale, easy on your shoulders. You can do this or go up. It's up to you and exhale. I'm gonna push my hips a little bit back. So as you see, my feet very close. If you want, you can just a little bit open. Exhale, through your mouth, pull your abs in. Okay, now ready to do heel dig. So opposite arm, opposite leg. It's working on your coordination as well. You don't need to step forward from your body. Let's get a little bit just faster, but everybody go for own pace. One, two, three. This is a warm up. We're going to increase your heart rate. Four, three, two, and one. Let's march, 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 march. When I'm saying move your arms from the shoulders right here, don't force too much. Just stay easy. Let them just blood flow circulate on your arms here. Let's just do back of your arms side to side here. So it looks like a punching dial side to side. You can do easy without any turning or you can turn your head and think about your back of your arm. Everybody side to side. We add in your arms because we're gonna more effect on your heart to increase your heart rate higher than the leg. Ready to more. And last one here. Let's just march, 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 march. Now this time we're gonna tap your toes back. So, and then we're gonna do bicep scale. Let's just focus on the leg here. Look back and then add your arms here. But I'm gonna change my view here. I'm not bending my knees, just soft knee. And if you like, you can just add your arms. Here, let's go. One, two. Think about your hips. That's working on your hips. Think about your butt. When you send your leg back, so you're working on your glutes, your big muscle on the back. Two more. And last one, let's just march through your arms forward and back. And we're gonna do side to side. Side to side, side to side. Look to the right and left. Okay, four, three, two, one. Are you ready to travel? When I say travel, you can do two step forward. This is side to side or maximum four stop. Now we're gonna go backward, backward, everybody. Very mindfully. Please, if you wanna look, look at the back. One more, forward, two, three. Over your shoulders, stop, and then mindfully. Yes, you can even look, see what's happened on the side. Let's just do side to side. Side to side, look, this is a little bit more turning my hips. If you don't want it, you can just stay here. Okay, two more, and last one. Keep your foot open. Everybody, we're gonna do punching. Another cardio exercise. I hope you increase your heart rate. So keep your foot open, shoulders far from your ear. So during the punching, okay, very careful about your shoulders. Go whatever that we can do that. Let's just start from punching to the side. We're gonna turn your hips to the side. One, think about your back of your arm. Easy, you can punch down. Challenging, bring your arm up to the shoulder height. I'm not forcing from my shoulders. I'm not rolling my shoulder. I think about stretching your back of your arm. And if you like, you can tap. One. Two, abs in, three. Think about your hips turning. This is not twisting. Four more, three, two, one. Inhale, exhale. Let's punch down, opposite arm, opposite leg. And send the same leg from the arm back. Back, you can see my view here. Look straight, everybody. Or you can just look down, but don't run your back. Four, three, two, one, stop up here. We're gonna do punch up. 
Ready? Punch up. Easy on the shoulder. One, two, or more challenging. Whatever that you want. Abs in, abs in. Think about your armpits, back of your arm to punch up. Four, three, push and pull. And bring it down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stop here. Now roll the shoulders down. Abs in. This time we're going to turn to the left. So I'm turning from my hips. Let's go. Two, three, back of your arm. Five, six, seven, eight. Ready for a punch up. Two, three, four, five, six. Let's into your shoulders. Seven, eight. One more time. Done. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stop here. Reset your shoulders, abs in soft knee, going down, easy, push your hips back. So then coming up, push your hips forward, four, punch, two, three, four. Let's go in down, push on the squat, look at the, my view, my posture, push your hips back. And going down, imagine you want to sit down, don't bend over, just push your hips back, you don't need to go deep. So one more, you're going down, push your hips forward, punch, 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 punch. Let's just swing your arms. Okay, you just do over your shoulders. You can look to the right and left, or you can just look straight, whatever that you want. Okay, back to your spot. Now we're gonna stay beside your chair. So roll the shoulders up, back down. Up, back down, up, back down. So bring your foot a little bit close to each other, like a hip with a heart, like a hips here. So now we're gonna take off your heels. So I'm gonna go a little bit back. So this is kind of like a balance exercise as well. As you see, I'm gonna start from holding and touching the chair, but make sure, stand nice and tall. Inhale first as you exhale. Shifting your weight forward to your balls of your foot. Don't do fast. This is kind of like a balance. So one, two, three, drop. So I'm going to push your body back. Take your toes up. I'm going to change my view. When I'm going back, I'm not going to hinge it. I just straight back. Take your toes. One, two, three, up. Look straight, everybody. If you look down, you are not using the back muscle. So look straight, one, two, three, up. Drop and take your toes. One, two, three, up, hold. One, two, three, down. Take your toes, one more. Up. So usually in my class, I wave to my participant and I ask them to having a smile on their face. So you're still here. Hello, everyone. And then look, you want more challenging? You want to reach your arms, even you can look up. So these are a little bit more challenging and you can look down. So nice and controlled drop. Push your hips back. So. Let's just watch, march, 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 and then heel, touch. It's a little bit getting stretch from your back of your leg. Are you ready to walk like a heel? Okay, that's a heel walking like this, not in front right now. Just travel like that, push and pull. You can bring your foot a little bit close to each other, and then we're gonna go backwards, backwards. Yes, here, here. Very good. Inhale, exhale. Now we're going to change. Go to the other side. So my chair is light. I can just move for you guys. If it's a little bit heavy, you can just move around. Let's do the same exercise that we did with the other side. Heel raise. And this is really great for your knees as well. Are you ready? Okay, stand nice and tall. One, two, three. Take your heels up. Start from the easy one. And then drop. Push your body back to your heels and toes. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, down. Look at my hands a little bit close to my you know, chair in case if I need, you, I you can get support here. Are you ready to wave, everybody? Just keep your elbow close to your body side. You know, it's going to be easy when you 
Wave, hello everybody, smile. Don't forget about having a smile on your face. And then you can just look up, reach your arm, it's up to you to go higher. And then you can look down, so, and then back. So we're gonna do a little bit more challenging if you want. So I'm gonna just take my hands off and two waves here. Even I'm gonna do a little bit side to side. Look at my elbow very close to my body. And this one is a little bit more challenging. It's up to you. Then come back here. Let's just do touching your heels even in front here and a push here. Are you ready to walk? Walk, walk, heel your toe. This time you can just, you can just bring your heel exactly in front. So on your foot here. So, and then mindfully, another option you can do it beside your wall if you worry about your balance here, and then walk like that. It's up to you. Okay, and then backward. So, inhale first. I'm going to use, I'm going to use the inner thigh. That's part of my core, and I'm going to push my foot down. Take the other foot off. Don't do fast and don't turn your hips. Your hips facing forward. Push, your baseline is really important for the balance as well. Very good, everybody. Let's walk in forward. Stop. Walking backward. Stop, two foot together, side to side. And then arms open, easy or challenging. When you stretch your arms more, you have to keep your abs in. Ready, walking forward. One, two, three, four, stop. Stop. Then back, two, three, four, stop. Two foot together, let's just do. This time you can turn if you want, a little bit move your body in the different direction or stretch out, abs in, listen to your shoulders. Okay, good. So everybody, inhale, exhale behind the chair, we're almost done. We do some couple of movement for the stretch here. Turn your toes out, hopefully you can see my foot. Shoulders down, open your foot as far as you can, okay? Don't force, supporting yourself here with your hands on the chair. Now we're going to the side to side. So I'm gonna move my chair because I'm gonna show you, okay, the way that I'm gonna move, I'm starting from my hips. I'm gonna push my hips and then bending my knee. So my knee follow down my hip. And then I'm gonna get a stretch for the groin. Pushing inside your foot down. You don't need to go deep. And back to center. Let's go to the other side. Inhale. I'm, right now I'm pushing my feet to the ground. Push your hips to the other side. Don't turn. Just uh, bending your knee, your hip facing forward. As soon as you feel the stretch on the groin, you know, just stop, then come back. Now, next time you go a little bit further, push, 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 push a little bit. I'm not forcing to the knee. I'm just feel opening my inner thigh. That's part of my core and my knee not passing from my toes. Now come back, then pushing your hips. So the second repetition, a little bit you can sink down and you can feel more stretch here and then come back here. So you're going down and come up. Like I said, zip down. It means relaxation here, zip up. Zip down, you straight down. I'm not bending over everybody. Just going down, you don't need to go very deep. Push your foot down. That's your legs working very well during this exercise. Going down and up. So hold the chair and nice and controlled. Take your heels off, toes, heels, toes, heel, toes. So you're just supporting here. Put your hands around your hip one, then like that further, bring it up and back. So I have to move a little bit forward. You need a space because you want to step back. So one, two, three, bring your knee up by using your hip. Don't start from your knee, just the hip. You don't need to bring it really high, just here. 
And if somebody wants a little bit more challenging, so you're doing this without any support. One, two, three, up, hold. One, two, three, back. You can take your toes off. Ready? One, two, three, up, hold. One, two, three, back. Take your toes off. Last one, up. Push, push, push your stationary foot to the ground. Get yourself, avoid to leaning too much, and a step back. So take your toes off. Now we're going to push your hips back, gently bend your knees. We're going to get a stretch in front leg. So here, let them, this arm hang to loosen up your shoulders. So here, pull your abs in. Look at my view here. I'm not rounding my back. I stick my butt out, and then I feel the stretch goes all the way down. Just hang your arm, then pressing your balls off your foot. i change changed my view. Then go for the back leg. One, two, three, up and drop. One, two, three, up and back. We're gonna do leg care here. Look at my knee, line is not here to do this. Your knee should be lined with the other knee. And if you want, you can add your arms here. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, back here. One, two, three, up and back. So walking forward, stop. Walking backward, stop, side, 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 side. Okay, let's just march on your place a little bit. Go to the other side, we do the same, and then I'm gonna give you a little bit rest to grab the band. Inhale to your nose, exhale to your mouth. We need a space behind you. Okay, so now support yourself first, get the support, and then later on, the, the leg that further from the chair. We're gonna bring your knee up by using your hip. Okay, start from the easy one here. And a step back. So you split your foot, your hips facing forward. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, back. So I have to come forward a little bit. One, two, three, up. So as I said, we working on your balance. So push your stationary foot. Then lifting your foot up as far as you can, maximum the hip level, and then hold. And then drop, push your heels back, take your toes. So ready, one, two, three, up, hold. You can put the other hands around your hips. So, and if you worry about your balance, you still just support yourself. One, two, three, up, hold everybody. You want a little bit more? Yes, add your arms. It's going to be challenging. Back, show me one more. Press your balls off your foot. Then stand nice and tall. Abs and lift your foot up, up to the hip level maximum. It's up to you. Hold it here, hold, 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 and a step back. As you see, I have a space between my legs. It's gonna be a little bit easy for balance. Push your hips back. You're still supporting yourself with the chair. All you need, everybody, stick your bum out like this. Don't run your back. Again, we are not, we are not working with the lower back. Just a neutral spine, shoulders far from your ear. Now we're gonna enjoy for a stretch for back, back of your leg here. Then press your front foot. Take the back foot. So you still have support here. One, two, three, up. That's a leg curve. And press your heel. One, two, three, up. Challenge yourself with hands free. Okay. And challenge yourself even with pushing and pulling. Look at my knee. My knee line with the other knee. If you want to get maximum effort on your hamstring, back of your thigh. Last one. Hold it here, one, two, three, four, five. Close your eyes. Ooh, and done, very good. Walking forward, I'm sure you fell to the other leg. Very controlled backward side. And if you don't want to backward, just stay on your space, that's good. Walking forward, stop. You can even turn. Turn and walk backward and open and close. You stay here, two foot together. 
Inhale to your nose, exhale to your mouth, pull your abs in, we're gonna do side to side. So I'm not moving my shoulders and my head, it's follow my, my side muscle. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, you draw your belly button to spine, reaching your finger down. And this time, we're gonna add your arm if you like it. Exhale, down, hands behind your head, or stretch your arms. You can feel more stretch around your spine and hips. Pull down by your armpit muscle. Press, inhale, shoulders relax up. Exhale, abs in. And then hands behind your head. It's be looking for a stretch your chest and then reaching to the side. This is another option. Don't lean back, don't lean forward. Very good, everybody. Roll the shoulders up and back. Let's drink water and then we're gonna use the resistance band. Okay. So everybody, grab the band. Keep your foot open and stay exactly close and in front of the chair by keeping your foot open like a shoulder wide. So we're gonna do a sit down with the squat position. So you're holding a band, like a, holding like an elbow by your side. We are not just a holding. We are not doing anything with the band right now. We're gonna sit down, everybody. So let me show you my view in this side. So I know everybody knows how to sit down and stand up, but we're gonna give you the good tip. Start from pushing your hips back, and then if you need, bend over. So and then nice push your feet to the ground, and then control. Let them yourself going down. Okay, now we're gonna get off. This is easy one. So bend over, look at my back, it's not wrong. You're hinging from your hips. You bend over, you still keep your elbow top under. As soon as you feel you can push your foot, especially your heel, push and the power is coming from your butt. So you're really good to squeeze them, not really hard. That's all in genes, everybody. So the more strong on your hips, the more healthy body and the more healthy knees coming to us. So, and then challenging one, look at my challenging. So I'm not bending over, I'm gonna just push my hips forward, look. So I let me push my hips back. I'm not bent over too much, but if you need it, go for it, whatever that you want. And this is like a swing your arms. You're going back, push your hips back, bend over. So actually my arms going to follow my lower body. It's not forcing. Easy. The exhale, you're coming up. Challenging, push. Squeeze your butt and go all the way up and nice and controlled drop. You want it back to your seat. Very good, everybody. Now I'm gonna change my chair. Okay, great job. Now I'm gonna stretch alternate your leg in front. Keep it slightly bent. You sit in the edge of the chair. So you see there's a gap here. You stretch your leg in front, slightly bent underneath of your knee. So we're gonna attach the band, make your band in the half, and then attach to the middle of your foot. Take your toes off. So lock everybody, we're gonna hinge hip. So, and then attach the band in the middle of your foot. I like sometimes crossing my band, it's more secure. So let me just turn. I change my view because you can see my posture. That's important to see diff body in the different views. You can keep your foot close to each other because sometimes we're gonna squeeze your inner thigh, groin, that's part of your core. So everybody focus on your posture from the top to your hips. So shoulder is relaxed down, keep your elbow by your side. First of all, we're gonna get a little bit of stretch for the back you hinge hip, you're going down, easy on your arms, head down, pull your abs in. You don't need to go far, okay? You just stop here. 
And then slowly inhale, coming up, reset your shoulders. When you roll your shoulders up and back, I said reset, okay? So are you ready? We're gonna do alternate row. That's working on the upper back. Abs in, elbow back. Exhale, inhale. We're gonna do alternate. Inhale first, exhale. You draw your belly button to your spine and move your elbow back by using your back muscle. It's really, really important. You communi communicate with the right muscle that we work in, in this exercise. Now, this is a back muscle. You feel like it's squeezing the shoulder bit together. Okay, exhale back, inhale. Don't hold the band tight. Let the energy pass to the right muscle. Just to supporting. One, two, three, abs in, exhale. Inhale. So your head is not moving. Nothing move except your elbow moving back from the back muscle. One more. One, two, three, abs. Always I repeat, abs, because we need to engage your abs to let them, arms and leg moving. Inhale, exhale. You go all the way down, easy on your arms. This time, I'm sure you're gonna go further down. Head down. No stress on the neck and shoulder. Then coming up. Now we're gonna do two arms. So everybody, inhale first, exhale. Send your elbow back. I'm not a start from my shoulder here. Very, you know, different feeling when you start from the back. Inhale, exhale, abs in, and then elbow back. If you want more, open your elbow a little bit far from your body. This is a little bit more feel shoulders working. Inhale, exhale. So one more. Inhale, exhale, back, a little bit, give me pulse, back, 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 abs in, back, back. Let's go all the way down, easy on the shoulders. This time, I'm sure you're gonna go further down. So then coming up. Okay, so take the band off, bring your foot back to the, bending your knees, and this time, so we're gonna walk opposite muscle, chest, back of your arm. So we're gonna pass the band around your arm. It's a little bit, roll the shoulders up and back. So before we start doing this, let's just a little bit keep your foot open, a little bit moving, keep your elbow tuck under, a little bit loosening up and moving around your hips and the back looks like a pushing down and pull up. If you want to add more, you can just stretch your arms, abs in. So look at my view here. Shoulders up, bend to the side, press. Look at my back, Is upper back is not front. Then come to the center. Let's go to the other side, reverse, okay? Nice and controlled, especially when you're coming up, you have to do very mindfully, going down, Abs in, even going back, abs in. You're gonna just more strong and then more on the upper body and midsection. Good. So I just gave you a little bit, loosening up. Okay, now we're gonna work on the chest. So keep your elbow tuck under, chest and first back of your arm. Everybody's shoulders far from your ear. You need to push your armpits toward your hips. Ready, inhale, as you exhale, abs, and then extend your arm forward. See my thumbs up? This exercise is more feeling on the back of your arm. So don't move your head, don't roll your shoulders, just stretch your arm, exhale, inhale, abs, and arm, and chest. Look at my arm, line with my shoulder, not higher. Two more. And last one. So this is single, single. So a little bit, roll the shoulders up and back. Turn your head to the right, then come back and left. Then come back, look up. Drop your head as far as you can mindfully and look down. So now we're gonna do a little bit more chesty. So I'm gonna turn. You can open your elbow a little bit, open to the side. 
and look at the view in the my body in this view thumbs coming in the front of the chest stretch your arms inhale come back to the starting position excellent pull your abs in and using your chest back of your arm look at straight everybody inhale nice and controlled it's really important the way that you're going back nice and controlled because we can build up more muscle the way that we're going backward rather than even forward squeeze your chest and nice and controlled back two more abs excellent when i say abs that's your exhalation abs don't elevate your shoulders shoulders far from your ear very good keep your foot a little bit open wide turn your toes out we're going down punching down so a little bit feel working on your oblique or side muscle ready easy opposite arm opposite knee easy challenging you turn a little bit you're going down inhale exhale again don't roll just a stretch inhale center exhale you don't need to open your foot wide really wide it's up to you nice and controlled back up if you don't like to bend over no worries that's the easy one you can just feel you're working on your oblique your core muscle very good so bring your foot close to each other take the band off inhale exhale so now this time two foot together we're going to wrap your thighs so hopefully try to make your band wide okay because sometimes it's going to be block our circulation so we don't want to have to see this position on your leg and body so make it tight we're gonna work on your hips you can get two knots here okay can you grab your ball so my ball is very close okay so if you want otherwise you don't need to use the ball so everybody open the right foot don't let the knee going inside that's working on the hip you open feet flat open the other foot toes pointed forward so now you can feel your work on the outer thigh that's part of your hips okay let's just do before we stand up you sit nice and tall keep the ball in front of the chest inhale exhale just reach your arms forward inhale exhale so i'm going to change my view you can see my posture so if you sit like that this is not good you have to roll your hips forward shoulders on top of your hips shoulders relax up inhale exhale pull your abs in so bring the ball in this chest and then pulse then squeeze with your heels of your palm one two three four five stretch out one two three four five stretch out good so now next i don't want to keep you long with this position we're going to get off the chair so keep the ball close so it's the same and you want to bend over so keep the ball here push through your butt you can stretch your arms in front so back to your chair push your hips back ready inhale exhale bend and push very good everybody so let's just do push your you don't want to sit down just push partial squat you go down you're going to see my view here and squeeze your butt this is relaxation everybody this is activation so easy challenging i'm not rolling okay good so everybody we're gonna do side to side and i'm gonna pass the ball to the other leg here together other side open together double open together open together ready other side open 
together. Open. We'll open from your hips, right? Together. Very good. So now make sure you're exactly in front of the chair. We're gonna sit down, keep your foot open. So bend over and sit down here. So keep that ball, you, you can just put it behind you and then bring your foot together and you can just, okay. It's good to work on your small muscle. You can just open the knot like that. If you, is easy, otherwise you can just go down, whatever that you feel good. So, but it's good to work on your small muscle. So now the band is open. Please get off the chair, keep the ball, we're almost done. Keep the ball between your legs, not between your knees. No, I don't like this exercise because sometimes we squeeze hard from the knee. Be nice on your knees, otherwise they're gonna bother us. So keep it a little bit higher. Remember I told you, if you don't have ball, you can use the cushion or roll the towel. And if you don't like the ball, put it something, no worries. So now we're gonna walk on the back shoulders. So first, look at your posture, keep your wrists straight, roll the shoulders back. So we're gonna squeeze the ball and we're gonna just a little bit open your arms because we're gonna repeat, don't open far. As soon as you feel you're engaging your upper body, nice and controlled, let them arms moving as far as we can. Could be stop here, could be higher. The good things, when you have something between your leg, you engage in your core. Now, nice and controlled, you still activate your core and let them um, look at my wrist, it's just a straight, look at my palms facing down, then go all the way down. So, and the good things, when you having the ball, look, I'm gonna work on my balance. Here, take your foot off and kick, don't lose the ball. So one more time, roll the shoulders back, reset your shoulders, keep your wrists straight, soft knee, squeeze the ball, zip up, engage your core. And this time I'm gonna open more. Abs and go all the way up. Don't let them shoulders come close, shoulders fall from your ear. You wanna let it open, nice and controlled, and nice and controlled, let them arms come down here, look. It's really important to just do control here. You can tap or more challenging everybody, even more. You just turn, holding the band, keep your elbow and then lift your foot and do this. Very good. And then this time, elbow by your side, palms up. A little bit work on the shoulder, but this one is a little bit easier. Elbow top under 90 degree. So start from squeezing the ball. And then we're gonna start from moving your right arm without any taking your elbow off from your body. Out and then without any turning your torso. Inhale. So inhale, exhale. You squeeze, zip up. Zip up means engage your core. Please don't move your arm far, just a squeeze and move. That's a small muscle on the back of your shoulder. I know this is for cough rotator. And last two, squeeze. Each time go a little bit further, but don't take your elbow off. So I'm gonna give you rest, back of your hands together, and we're gonna add your hips. This is hand chip, everybody. You look like you're touching the ball. Stick your bum out, ready? Push your hips forward. You want easy, out, out, and then back here. Or I'm gonna show you a little bit challenging. When you add your hips, it's going to be easy. Look, this is forcing from your hips, squeeze, and then move. Elbow by your side, everybody, two more. The last one, hinge hip. You don't need to bend your knee too much. And squeeze. Out, 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 out. Very good. Change this, take the ball. We're gonna leave the band on the chair. So one hand's behind your back. So the one hand, I'm gonna open my hip. So let's just do 
So yeah, um, I'm not forcing on my shoulder, just again here, and hip. And last one, elbow down. Let's just do a little bit working on your arm and shoulders. This That's why I call clean air. Yes, and then gradually you can just open your elbow a little bit further from your body. Let's send your ball to the opposite hip. Inhale as we exhale, one, two, three. Arms open to the shoulder height. One, two, three. In toward the opposite hip. Push your feet. I'm using my foot, my leg to use helping abs in to helping easy on the upper body. Let's just a little bit, roll the shoulders up and back. So already put your hands around your hip or just behind. Let's a little bit open your hips. So easy, you want to do swings. This is working on your hips. One more, inhale going down, squeeze the way your butt, the way that come your elbow close your body. Clean the air, everybody. Nice and controlled. And each time you can just open your arms a little bit further. And then other direction. Okay, and the fun part, throw and catch the ball. You can just stay on your spot or you can travel. So it's up to you. I'm gonna move a little bit here. You can do side to side here. And then challenging backward, backward. That's here. And you can just pass, pass each arm. You can travel. If you wanna travel, travel is going to be challenging here. Okay. Okay, and now it's time to do sit down and do some stretch. Okay, we're gonna use the bang later. So hold the ball, everybody. Back to the sitting position. So together, push your hips back. So stretch, one leg in front. This is nice and tall. I'm using the ball right now. You can keep the other foot open, sit in the edge of the chair. Now we're gonna roll and I'm gonna change my wheel here. Lengthen your spine, inhale, exhale. Rolling the ball, you can just stop here because we're gonna repeat. Inhale up. So I'm gonna do a little bit side to side. So shoulders down, inhale, exhale. You can drop your arms down and this time go a little further down. Easy on the head, shoulders, neck. Then coming up. So if you want a little bit more stretching, stretching more arms, but make sure shoulders far from your ear. Inhale, exhale, hinge from your hip, then go all the way down. Shoulders far from your ear, stay here. And then slowly roll up, nice and controlled. Let's just switch the other leg, lengthen your spine, easy first. Hinge from your hip, stop here. And don't force on the kneecap. Inhale. Exhale, side to side, that's the easy one. Inhale, exhale, go a little further down. Don't run your upper back, don't bring your shoulders toward your ear. And last set, I change my view. This is a little bit more, lengthen your spine, side to side, but less into your shoulders. Inhale, exhale, hinge from your hip, go all the way down. Head down, no tension on the neck shoulders. Then stay here, pull your abs in and slowly come up. 